Hello, everyone. Welcome back to FX Limit, your go to channel for all things related to Forex trading and currency markets. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that's crucial for every Forex trader out there understanding how economic data impacts currency values and how you can use fundamental analysis to interpret this data for better trading decisions. Now, let's start by breaking down the basics. The Forex market is hugely influenced by economic indicators. These are reports, indices, and economic data releases that provide insight into a country's economic health. Why does this matter to us as traders? Well, these indicators directly impact the value of a currency. When an economy is strong, its currency tends to strengthen as well, and vice versa. So, let's talk about some key economic indicators and how they can affect currency values. First on the list is gross domestic product or GDP. This is the total market value of all goods and services produced in a country over a specific period. It's like the economic report card for a country. If GDP is growing, the economy is in good shape, and the currency value usually appreciates. On the flip side, if GDP is falling, the economy might be in trouble, leading to a depreciation of the currency. Next up, we have the Consumer Price Index, or CPI. This measures the average change over time in the prices paid by consumers for a market basket of goods and services. It's a key indicator of inflation. Rising inflation often leads central banks to raise interest rates to curb the inflation, which can boost the currency's value. Conversely, low inflation might lead to lower interest rates, potentially devaluing the currency. Unemployment rates are another critical indicator. High unemployment can lead to a decrease in consumer spending, which can negatively impact economic growth and currency value. On the other hand, low unemployment is often associated with a strong economy, attracting foreign investors and increasing the currency's value. Now, let's talk about interest rates. They are perhaps one of the most significant factors influencing currency value. Higher interest rates offer lenders a better return relative to other countries. As a result, higher interest rates attract foreign capital and cause the exchange rate to rise. The impact of higher interest rates is mitigated if inflation in the country is much higher than in others, or if additional factors serve to drive the currency down. Balance of trade is also a vital factor. A country that exports more than it imports will generally have a stronger currency. A surplus in the current account leads to foreigners purchasing more of the exporter's currency, which can cause an appreciation. Now that we understand these indicators, let's talk about how to use fundamental analysis to interpret this data. Fundamental analysis involves evaluating a currency's intrinsic value by examining related economic, financial, and other qualitative and quantitative factors. It requires a deep understanding of the economic indicators we've just discussed. When you're analyzing economic data, it's crucial to compare the actual data release with the market's expectations. This is where economic calendars come in handy. They provide the scheduled releases of economic indicators, along with market expectations and previous release data. If the actual data beats the market's expectations, it's usually a good sign for the currency. But if it falls short, the currency might depreciate. You also need to understand the current economic context. Sometimes, even if the data is positive, the currency might not appreciate. This could be due to other overriding negative factors or perhaps the market had already priced in the good news. That's why it's essential to consider the bigger picture and not just focus on one piece of data. In conclusion, understanding how economic data impacts currency values is crucial for making informed trading decisions. By using fundamental analysis to interpret this data, you can gain valuable insights into the potential future movements of currency values. Remember, it's not just about the data itself, but also about the market's expectations and the broader economic context. Thanks for tuning into FX Limit today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future content. We're here to help you navigate the Forex market with confidence. Happy trading, and see you in the next video.